Now that is another myth that still gets around. It is a kind of over-reliance on the bootstrap philosophy. And there are those who still feel that if the Negro is to rise out of poverty, if the Negro is to rise out of slum conditions, if he is to rise out of discrimination and segregation, he must do it all by himself. And so they say the Negro must lift himself by his own bootstraps. They never stop to realize that no other ethnic group has been a slave on American soil. The people who say this never stop to realize that the nation made the black man's color a stigma. But beyond this, they never stop to realize the debt that they owe people who were kept in slavery 244 years. In 1863, the Negro was told that he was free as a result of the Emancipation Proclamation being signed by Abraham Lincoln. But he was not given any land to make that freedom meaningful. It was something like keeping a person in prison for a number of years and Suddenly, suddenly discovering that that person is not guilty of the crime for which he was convicted. And you just go up to him and say, now you are free. But you don't give him any bus fare to get to town. You don't give him any money to get some clothes to put on his back or to get on his feet again in life. Every code of jurisprudence would rise up against this. And yet this is the very thing that our nation did to the black man. It simply said, you're free. And it left him there penniless, illiterate, not knowing what to do. And the irony of it all is that at the same time that the nation failed to do anything for the black man, through an act of Congress, it was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. But not only did it give the land, it built land-grant colleges to teach them how to farm. Not only that, it provided county agents to further their expertise in farming. Not only that, as the years unfolded, it provided low interest rates so that they could mechanize our farms. And to this day, thousands of these very persons are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies every year not to farm. And these are so often the very people who tell Negroes that they must lift themselves by their own bootstraps. It's all right to tell a man to lift himself by his own bootstraps, but it is a cruel jest to say to a bootless man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstraps. We must come to see that the roots of racism are very deep in our country. And there must be something positive and massive in order to get rid of all of the effects of racism and the tragedies of racial injustice.